morning. It is a gray day out there, but uh, it's going to be a good day, I think. So we'll we'll see what the day holds. Hope you're all doing well. It's good to see you. Good to be with you whenever you're watching this. Um, I wish the birds, I don't know if they're gone for now or if they're sleeping in a little more than I am, but I wish they were still tweeting. We hear the crickets, though, and that's something. But hope you all have a good day. I think it's going to... Um, be one of those days where I need to, you know, pump myself up a little bit, hit the snooze button a little too many times this morning. Uh, but uh, but it's a, uh, I think it'll be a good day. Let's start with a prayer, and then we'll hop into this devotion. I want to read from uh, Ephesians six. I want to talk a little bit about <laughs> hitting the snooze button too many times, and then uh, read from Ephesians six this morning, um, just to talk about things that might. I don't know, give us some energy in the morning besides a cup of coffee. So let's uh, let's pray and then we'll hop into this devotion. Holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do around us. Thank you for this world that we get to call home. Uh, please fill us with your spirit, especially this morning as we discuss your word and your will for our lives just a little bit. And we ask that you continue to move us with your spirit throughout the day so that we can continue to do your work in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like I said, I, I hit the snooze button just a few too many times this morning. And I don't know if that's just me <laughs> or if y'all do that too. Actually, I guess it's a good thing that they have the snooze button. It's a nice invention. But I sometimes I wish that it wasn't there. I wish that um, I didn't have an option to sleep, what, nine more minutes. Also, who came up with the idea that nine more minutes is a good idea? Maybe 15, I think, would be... A perfect amount of snooze because you just get like a little cat nap you know <laughs> just an early cat nap um, but nine minutes just doesn't do it for me and it's worse uh, and then I end up hitting it two or three times and when you do that you know I it just throws my morning off I think I my hair is all wild this morning um, I you know I didn't get my coffee yet it's sitting there brewing for me right now um, it's just a, a weird a weird time and sometimes the dog gets me up in the morning and then I have no choice but when it's just me and the alarm um, snooze is, is too much <laughs> I don't know is that does that ever happen to y'all what do you what do you do in the mornings do you have a morning routine maybe you get up and you exercise so that your morning starts with a little bit of movement or maybe you wake up and you have a cup of coffee or tea or um, maybe just a glass of milk on your porch or something like that uh, just to experience the day feel the cool breeze of the morning air um, maybe you you know read in the mornings or watch the news or um, just pray and spend a little time in the Bible yourself I don't know some of you I know read your own devotions um, and maybe you do that in the mornings I don't know I, what are your morning routines that get you up and out of bed and excited for the day um, and what do you do when you wake up and you don't want to do that routine? <laughs> I think that's that's what I'm experiencing this morning is that it was a day where I just wanted to spend a little bit extra time in bed. And So what do you do to try to energize yourself um, when your morning routine might not work? I was thinking about um, Bible passages that might inspire us or energize us or get us excited about getting up out of bed and and one of them I thought about you know this is a little uncanny but it's the the Ephesians 6 passage that talks about the armor of God and I you know I think putting on the armor of God um, gives us a purpose for the day it gives us something to kind of move us around and it gives us something to be excited about so this is from Ephesians 6 uh, verse 10 through 18 or so Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything, to stand. 
Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. I don't know, there's just something about that um, that passage that really fires you up, you know? And uh, to think about the mysticism of this evil that exists in the world is, is an interesting thing, but the idea that we can put on this breastplate of righteousness you know it gives us something to to move forward with in our day or to take the the sword of the spirit to have the word of god or um the what the helmet of faith all these ideas are um are exciting and and really give us something to uh to step up and and to go out in the world with and then the ending there is a nice gentle request continue to pray for all the people in the world Um, and I think that gives us again some purpose for what we do in our days Um, and if we wake up with that kind of energy and excitement and encouragement then maybe we can hit the snooze button one last time (laughs) and with those extra nine minutes that we didn't hit the snooze button Maybe we get out there and we do a little more praying for all the people of the world or a little more um, demanding righteousness with our breastplate on or, um, you know, those kinds of things. And so uh, what does God want from us? Well, God wants all these things. And uh, we have the armor of God or, you know, being ready for battle is an interesting image. Maybe it works some days and other days it doesn't really fires up. But um, these ideas of righteousness, justice, peace, faith, salvation, all the things that God wants in the world, those things do fire us up. So hopefully that gives us something to to give us a little more energy today. Um, And thanks for some of you are putting what you do in the mornings over here in the comments already. Coffee, it seems to be a a nice theme. (laughs) Uh, And I, you know, I think that's true. and it's not a bad thing to to enjoy a nice cup of coffee um especially when the mornings are getting a little chillier out there so well that's that's my thought for the day Uh, i hope um we continue to to find things that give us faith and hope and move us to act in the world each and every day Um, and i hope that you guys have something that fires you up today to to work for god to keep praying for all the people of the world but let's pray and then we'll we'll go off on about with our days and see see what the day holds but let us pray oh god thank you for this opportunity to find energy in your word and to be encouraged by peace and justice and righteousness and all the things that you want for our lives and for this world we do pray for all the people of the world and we ask for you to be with them for people who are hurting for people who need healing spiritual body or mind healing we ask that you be with us in our our difficult times when we're grieving and when we are um, just overwhelmed with anxiety in this world Uh, we ask that you continue to be with us and with all people um, to make this world a better place give us some kind of uh, energy to get out and about today to do something great for your world, uh, whether at home or um, safely about, and we ask that you do that with us every day, and that you let your spirit guide us, and that we have the courage to follow your spirit each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee (laughs) and sit out here on the porch. Thank y'all. Have a good one.